All right, look here tonight. You can see that small hole in the car right in the front of the driver's seat. That is a bullet hole. Such a scary situation. The woman driving says that someone shot at her on Highway 59, and she thinks it might have been fueled by road rage. Fox 26's Tiffany Justice spoke with her and her friend who was in the car, too. He was aiming to get me, I think. You know, I hope he's not doing it to anyone else. Robin Hatfield and her friend Dora Swing speaking with Fox 26 after experiencing a terrifying road rage shooting. She says they were just getting off of work around 2 o'clock in the morning, leaving NRG Stadium and traveling on 59 North between Rankin and Will Clayton Parkway when it happened. Okay, here's the door handle. The first time we saw him is when he got over so close to my car. I thought he was just kind of passed through and he was pulling one of those, you know, just real close, whatever. I, I, that didn't scare me that much. It did her because it was on her side. Mm. And then when he hit his brakes, I thought there was nobody in front of him to do that. You know, I knew something was wrong. Then he did it again. And then when I tried to get away from him, he would not let us get away. The bullet hitting the driver's side, striking the car a foot and a half away from her. Robin says she pays close attention to her surroundings and cannot recall what was done that could spark that interaction. And I'll never forget his face if I see him again. And I said, if I did something to make you angry, I'm sorry. I don't know, you know, and he, pow. I'm yeah. thinking, well, here we are, two older ladies. I mean, how we really were harmful to you, you know, were we not? I was just so shocking. Both women say the man was driving a new red or maroon pickup truck with a V8 diesel engine. Pretty good shot at that rate of speed, 60, 65 miles an hour to get. I mean, I think he was really trying to shoot me. It was senseless. And, um, he could, the stray bullet could have hit somebody, you know, at another vehicle. I mean, anything could have happened. The, the damage that could have been caused. Both women feel blessed to still be here. They're working on filing a police report, but are still trying to determine the jurisdiction. Reporting Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.